we have here intersection of sets it is one of the set operations it is a resulting set when two or more sets have elements in common it is denoted by this symbol um, it looks like an inverted u so given set a and set b Okay, let us further illustrate it, um, the two sets using the Venn diagram. We have here a two we have here two circles. Um, the blue one is set A and the light orange is set B. Okay. So this symbol is read as A intersection B or the intersection of A and B or the intersection of sets A and B. Okay. So as you can see, the two circles or the two sets overlap. There is a part in set A or merong part sa set A na nasa set B na. At meron ding part ng set B na makikita mo na sa set A. Okay, so ito yun, no? um, ito yung color brown kung saan ang dalawang sets A and B ay nag-overlap or nag-meet. Sa art, um, kapag ang kulay na blue at sa kulay na orange ay i-mix mo, ang lalabas na kulay ay brown. Okay, so yung brown natin dito, ito yung tinatawag na common to both sets or the intersection of sets A and B. No? Okay. So, I have here an example number one. Okay. So, we have here now the example number one. So, we are given sets A and B where um, set A is a set containing the elements 1, 3, 5 and set B is a set containing the elements 3, 6 and 9. So, we are asked to find uh, the intersection of A and B. Now, to illustrate, let us put uh, the two sets in a diagram. So, under set A, 1, 3, and 5 are inside the circle of set A. And 3, 6, and 9 are the numbers inside set B circle. Okay. So, anong meron or anong element or elements ang makikita sa set A na makikita din sa set B? No? Or, pwede rin na anong element or elements meron sa set B na meron din sa set A. Okay, so titignan natin. Okay, ayan. So, 3 ay nasa A at saka yung 3 din ay nasa B. So, let's... Okay. So, Yung 3 na nasa A at saka B ay nandito na ngayon sa um, gitna. No? Ito yung part kung saan yung dalawang circles ay nag-meet. So, ito yung intersection na part. And inside this part where they intersect, kung saan sila nag-intersect, nasa loob dito ang element 3. Ang intersection ng A and B or the intersection of A and B is a set containing the element 3. Okay? So again, um, the intersection of sets A and B is equal to a set um, containing the element which is 3. Okay, let us proceed to example number
Now, in example number 2, we have given sets x and y where set x is equal to the set containing the elements a, b, c, d, e and set y is equal to a set containing the elements 1, 2, 3. So we are asked to find the intersection of the two sets x and y. Okay, so again, um, let us illustrate the two sets using the Venn diagram. We have here the set x where all the five elements are inside the circle. And for set Y, we have the three elements inside the circle. Okay, let us observe. Okay, now, let us look at set X. Can you find any element in set X that is also an element of set Y? Or... Can you find any element in set Y which is also an element of set X? Is there any element common to both sets X and Y? Okay, there is none. No, There is no common element in both sets A and Y. B. Okay. So, in this case, we have Okay, wala silang common element. The intersection of the set X, X and Y is equal to this symbol or the intersection of X and Y is equal to this symbol. What is meant by this symbol again? If you can still remember, so these are uh, these symbols are the symbol for empty set. Okay, so therefore the intersection of the two sets x and y is an empty set. Okay, let us now proceed to um, example number three. So here is example number 3, given sets M and N where set M is equal to the set containing the element G, O, D, L, Y and set N, set N is equal to the set containing the elements G, O, D. So we are asked to find the intersection of sets M and N. Okay, so to illustrate using the Venn diagram, we have here set M, um, a circle uh, where the elements G, O, D, L, Y are inside the circle or inside the set. So another set N, um, whose elements are G, O, and D. Okay, so if we are going to look closely, G is common to both M and N. Another is, uh, element O is common to M and N, and D is also an element common to M and N. Okay, so if we are going to find the intersection of the two sets, we have this one. Okay, you need... Uh, you notice that the whole circle which is identified as set N are, is inside the circle of set M. Okay? So, dahil lahat ng elements ng set N ay nasa set M ang buong set N ay nasa loob ng set M. Then, yung elements L and Y ay nasa labas ng set N. Okay? So, it... 
So we have the intersection of set M and N is equal to the set containing the elements G, O, D. Okay. So lahat ng elements ng N ay nasa set M. So again, kaya yung uh, whole set ng N nasa loob ng set M. Okay, so that is our example number 3. So let us now proceed to example number 4. Okay, in example number 4, we have given sets A, B, and C. So there are 3 sets here where A is equal to the set containing the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And set B is a set containing the elements 2, 4, 6, and 8. And set C is a set containing the elements 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. We are asked to find two things. The intersection of A and or A, intersection B, intersection C. And the intersection of B and C only. Now here, we are asked to find the intersection of the three sets. So let us um, um, write this in... A Venn diagram. Okay, so here are the elements of set A, and here are the elements of set B, and here are the elements of set C. Okay, let us try to find uh, um, the intersections, their intersections. Okay, so here it is. So, as you can see, this part here, this middle part here, is actually what is common to both A, B, and C. Okay? So, yung 2 at saka 4, makikita natin sa A, di ba? So, yung 2 at 4 na sa A. The same elements, 2 and 4, makikita natin sa B. And the same elements, 2 and 4, makikita din natin sa C. Okay? So, uh, the elements 2 and 4 is, are the intersection, are the elements in the intersection of sets A, B, and C. Okay. Now, let's look at here. This part. Um, this part here is an in, is the intersection of what sets or eight what, what uh which set can you find um element eight okay so let's look at here eight is not in a but eight is in b and eight also is in c so 8 here is the intersection of set B and set C alone. Okay? Again, um, element 8 is the intersection of set B and set C alone. Okay, so that's why we have here the intersection of B and C is equal to the set containing an element 8. Okay, so that is our example number 4.